Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with two absolute values. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Equations with two absolute values has a little rule we have to follow here. And it goes like this. If the absolute value of u is equal to the absolute value of v, we'd get it down to that point, then u is equal to a negative v, or u is equal to a positive v. So how do we apply it right here with this equation? We have an absolute value on both sides, and it's, that's all we have on each side. Absolute value of 5x minus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus 3. <clears throat> well, apply our rule. Inside this 5x minus 1 is like our u, and the 2x plus 3 is our v. From there, we said, okay, 5x minus 1, our u is equal to a negative v, v being that 2x plus 3. Or, if we put the letter or the word or there, again, that u, 5x minus 1, is equal to a positive 2x, the positive v, right? 2x plus 3. And now from here, we want to, well, solve each one of these individually. Let's start with the left here. Well, I'm going to keep that 5x minus 1 going on here, and let's distribute the negative sign. Negative 2x here, minus 3, right? Distributing a negative. From there, we combine our like terms. I'm going to add a 1 to both sides, and I'm going to add a 2x to both sides. So from there, add a 1 to both sides, we get a negative 3 plus a 1 is a negative 2. And 5x plus 2x is a 7x. From there, I'm going to divide 7 to both sides. And I have x by itself is equal to a negative 2 sevenths. Got our first answer here. The second one, same idea. I'm going to combine our like terms, so I add a 1 to both sides. And I subtract a 2x to both sides. 1's cancel here, 2x's cancel here. 5x minus a 2x is a 3x, and 3 plus 1 is a good old 4. From there, I divide both sides by 3, and I'm left with x equals a positive 4 thirds. And our two solutions for well, this equation is x equals negative 2 sevenths or x equals 4 thirds. We'll leave the check to you. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with two absolute values. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.